The 2023 Cadillac Escalade is one of the best luxury SUVs you can buy. It covers every angle or use case you might be able to dream up. Cadillac treats it to a top-notch interior that doesn't play second fiddle to its also sumptuous competition. There's an abundant amount of space in both the standard and cargo extended Escalade ESV version. The ride is excellent when you pair its available air suspension with the magnetic ride dampers. And for 2023, you can even get a performance variant with the Escalade V. This segment of vehicle may be inherently inefficient, but the Escalade actually has a more efficient option with the Duramax diesel. It's smooth and shockingly quiet, which is fitting for the Escalade's personality. There's no lack of tech on display inside the Escalade, as it features the triple OLED screens with an easy-to-use infotainment system. Plus, you can get it with the best hands-free driver assistance system out there, Super Cruise. A navigator may be more opulent with its distinctive interior options, and the German three-row SUVs provide a much different take on the idea of an ultra-luxury SUV, but as a total package, the Escalade is difficult to beat. The various trims, engine options and color combos make it possible to get a full-size luxury mobile in, have it your way, fashion, even if that's with a 668 horsepower supercharged V8. What's new for 2023? The big highlight for 2023 is the addition of the Escalade V to the lineup. It gets a supercharged V8 engine with 682 horsepower and costs $149,990. This performance variant of the Escalade features a number of other changes to make it an extra spicy family mover that'll get you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds and handle better than a standard Escalade. Beyond the V, Cadillac made minor changes to the Escalade lineup. It added a digital owner's manual to the infotainment system. Plus, three new colors are being introduced, dark emerald metallic, radiant red tint coat and argent silver metallic. What are the Escalade's interior and in-car technology like? The Escalade doesn't quite achieve the same elevated sense of fashion as Lincoln does with the Navigator, but it nevertheless makes a statement with its tech-forward take on luxury. The 38 inches of curved OLED screens we covered in our Escalade infotainment review dominate the dash in a brazen display of opulence. Large swaths of wood trim stretch across the dash horizontally and also adorn a substantial part of the center console. Your color and design options are plentiful, but it all depends on trim. The purple dark auburn is fantastic, and the light anary whisper beige is another great option. Real wood trim in various colors and patterns can be had, and varying levels of leather and suede coverage are available. Even at its best, though, Lincoln's black label interiors are still a cut above in terms of style and distinctive color options. An argument can also be made for the lovely new Jeep Grand Wagoneer interior. There are three screens in total, a 16.9-inch touchscreen for the infotainment system, a 14.2-inch instrument cluster and a 7.2-inch touchscreen to the left of the cluster. All three are gorgeous OLED displays. It's a new take on GM's infotainment system as a whole, even separate from the Android automotive-based infotainment in the Chevy and GMC full-size SUVs. Icons are big and easy to press. Nothing is hidden off-screen at any point. It just makes good sense. There are physical buttons and controls for things like the volume knob and frequently used apps like navigation or media. Plus, a scroll wheel on the center console provides a second method of navigating through it, Cadillac even designed a dedicated UI that it switches to when you use the wheel. Both wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto come standard, too. How big is the Escalade? Huge. Like, it won't fit in lots of normal garages huge, especially if you get the extended Escalade ESV that measures 226.9 inches in overall length. Prior to the introduction of the Jeep Wagoneer L, it was by far the longest of the full-size SUV class, and while it still bests the Jeep, it only does so by 0.2 inch. The concept of the ESV is the same as always. It's the suburbanized Escalade, whereas the regular Escalade is equivalent to a Tahoe. Even the small one isn't small, though. Like its Chevy and GMC siblings, not to mention the Navigator and literally every other competitor, the current Escalade generation has an independent rear suspension design, which substantially increases cargo capacity from its predecessor, 
10.3 CUFT more with the third row up, lowers the lift over height, and provides a considerably more spacious third row, a whopping 10.4 inches more than the previous generation. Third row space isn't quite as a good as a Navigator or Grand Wagoneer, but we're talking varying degrees of surprisingly spacious. Full-size adults can actually fit quite comfortably back there. What are the Escalade's fuel economy and performance specs? The Escalade's base engine is the 6.2-liter small-block V8 that serves as the upgrade for both the Tahoe and Yukon. It makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque, then channels that power through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Either rear-wheel drive or four-wheel drive versions are available. Fuel economy for the this engine was not available at the time of this writing, but for 2022, they topped out at 15 miles per gallon city, 20 mpg highway and 17 miles per gallon combined with rear-wheel drive. Opting for four-wheel drive drops each of those figures by 1 mpg to 14-19-16 mpg. GM's 3.0-liter turbo diesel inline-6 is also available. It pumps out a very diesel-like 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque to the 10-speed automatic. Fuel economy is hugely improved to 21 miles per gallon city, 27 mpg highway and 23 miles per gallon combined with rear-wheel drive. A similar 1 mile per gallon hit in all categories is felt when you go with four-wheel drive. Diesel prices have skyrocketed in the past year, but the EPA estimates that you're bound to save about $1,000 per year on fuel costs if you opt for the diesel. Plus, unlike the other full-size GM SUVs, the Escalade's diesel engine is available as a no-cost option, making it even more appealing. Finally, the Escalade V features a hand-built 6.2-liter supercharged V8 that makes a massive 682 horsepower and 653 pound-feet of torque. It's all routed through a 10-speed automatic transmission, and the V is the quickest Escalade with a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 4.4 seconds. Fuel economy for the V stands at 11 miles per gallon city, 16 mpg highway and 13 miles per gallon combined, which is as bad as it sounds. EPA estimates indicate it would cost you $1,200 more per year to fill up than standard 6.2 liter V8. Please like and subscribe for my channel. What are the Escalade safety ratings and driver assistance features? The 2023 Escalade has a number of driver assistance and safety features as standard equipment. These include automatic emergency braking with front pedestrian detection, forward collision and rear pedestrian warning, lane departure warning, lane keeping assist, front and rear parking sensors, and a 360 degree camera. There are a ton more safety features that are made standard when you step up one trim grade. The premium luxury adds an auto parallel slash perpendicular parking system, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, full speed automatic emergency braking, reverse automatic braking, rear camera mirror and adaptive cruise control. All trim levels starting at the premium luxury platinum and above also include trailer blind spot monitoring that extends the sensor's reach to notify you of vehicles in the blind spot of the trailer you're pulling. Super Cruise is an optional extra on all trim levels and the same goes for Cadillac's night vision technology. Only the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration performed crash tests on the new Escalade so far. The government agency awarded it a 4-star overall safety rating. It performed best in side crash tests, 5-star ratings, but only received a 3-star rollover rating and 4-star front crash rating. Then again, Cadillac is not pushing the Escalade V as an SUV alternative to its sport sedans. Given that most high-performance SUVs spend far more time driving around town than tearing up twisty roads, the brand's decision to temper the Escalade V's peak handling prowess with a comfortable ride and three-season tires seems like a smart move for the real world. However, this approach does limit the appeal of the $151,490 Escalade V, at $3,000 for the ESV model, when a less powerful yet similarly equipped Escalade Sport Platinum is some $40,000 less. Like all new Cadillacs, as well as Buicks and GMCs, the Escalade V includes three years of GM's OnStar and Connected Services Premium Plan, a forced feature that adds $1,500 to the base price. 
The service enables niceties such as the vehicle's Wi-Fi hotspot and Sirius XM 360L satellite radio and digital streaming service. It also provides access to the OnStar Guardian app for mobile devices.